Hi, Roseanne. I'm so happy to have this time with you today. Before we dive in, just take a minute, tell everyone who you are and what you do. Okay, I am Roseanne Huck with the Creekside Studio of Art and Design. I am a fine artist and a graphic designer, and I help bring the beauty of the world into your home or your business to make your world a better place. Beautiful, and your art is incredible. Tell yeah. us what was happening for you. You can, you can maybe tell a little bit of your Bold Heart story because you've actually been here. Um, you were a member and the nod and the back. Speak a little bit to that. Um, I had an interesting journey. Um, I found Fabienne through actually her web designer, who is a friend of mine and uh, was working with her. And uh, when I was looking at her samples and, and I said, who is this Fabienne that you see? And, and, and is she really the real thing? And she said, oh yes, she's definitely the real thing. I've taken her classes and she's wonderful. So I started out with, um, I knew I needed some guidance and some support. And so I started out with home study program and I moved into some other programs with her. Um, and at that time I was working for another company, um, uh, an ad, ad agency actually. And, uh, I, but I was, um, I had started some satellite offices for us. So I was acting as a, a director or a management kind of thing as well as an, a, an artist. And so um, over time though, um, lots of things happened, but um, I needed to become independent. And so we had an amicable parting and um, I went independent. And um, when I was with that agency, I actually encouraged the owner to become a part of leverage, uh, the leverage program. And so, so we actually did that. And so I started out in the leverage program, oddly. Got it. And but then for someone after else. I left, I'm starting from scratch. So, right. For somebody else. So then yeah. when I was on my own, um, I realized I desperately needed that support that I had had before. So I started in the growth program and um, it um, made all the difference has always made all the difference to have that supportive network. And because I work um, on my own mostly and out in the woods, um, it's great to have that community, that support. Amazing. So when you decided to join, you know, when you went out on your own and, and came back to Bold Heart and joined growth, what had been your experience in your business up until that point? Um, well, it was very scary. And I, even though I felt like I had some pretty good understanding of the fundamentals of how to do the business and how to uh, build my business and grow it, um, I really needed accountability. And I actually um, tried to establish that accountability with other people in my world over and over again, and I could never make it work. And so um, it felt like I just needed the real thing. I needed Fabienne, I needed Volhart, I needed um, that um, proven system. And so um, I, I jumped back in and it has been, I took off like a rocket. Um, can you in, initially that, though, I have to say, a little um, bit, would you be willing to share a little bit more about what taking off like a rocket has meant for you? Yeah. Um, well, the first year when I was back in growth, I had, I went from uh, my first year in my little business, I made $12,000, $8,000. And then um, my husband became very, very ill. He had Parkinson's disease. So um, I had to step back from my business and everything else in my life and take care of him. And then he passed away and I got back into the program just um, uh, last fall, I guess. And um, since that time, um, I, I just had the best uh, month of my entire business career. I made about sixteen or seventeen thousand dollars in one month, and oh, there's no art. reason to believe right. that that's not going to repeat. Because you wanted to make the shift yeah, from that was my art. You know, working in graphic design to really focusing on selling your art, and you've done that. Yes, um, and the the thing that one of the things that helped me realize that that's what I needed and wanted to do was this program because you spend we spend so much time thinking about what's real for us, what's true for us, what's most authentic to who we are. And at one point I realized that um, as I'm a designer and I do enjoy that, but in my heart of hearts, what I really wanted to do was to be a fine artist. And I was always so afraid to try that before 
but um, I met other people who were doing that and I talked to um, other people in the program um, and I saw clearly that it could be done. Now I want to mention that uh, in my hiatus and then actually part of the time when I've been in the program, I also joined a couple of programs which were specific to the art industry. Yeah. And those programs were, were good for the industry and they helped me understand galleries and how they work and the business side of art. But consistently they did not push me to be the biggest, best version of myself. They yeah. were okay with okay results. And I was not okay with okay results. I really felt like I needed, I wanted somebody to understand that I don't want to just make my little corner of the world better. I want to make an impact, a bigger impact uh, on more people in more places. Yeah. And um, that gave me the courage to do that. I love it. Amazing. What advice, if I'm sure there are other artists, other creatives watching this, and I know sometimes you can have the sort of mindset, like, would this work for me? Um, you know, is this for just consultants or strategists? What would you say to someone watching who might be asking that question? I, I have asked that question of myself over and over again, because there are so many people who are in industries which um, don't actually have a, a an actual product who are part of this program. However, the basic marketing principles, the basic business principles, the uh, mindset issues are the same, regardless of what industry you're in. And um, learning to have confidence in myself, to uh, understand, um, to understand how um, feeling the fear and doing it anyway is fairly universal challenge that we all have um, as we're trying to do that new thing um, and having the encouragement um, the affirmations around what I do um, has been huge and um, I really did not realize how critical uh, mindset issues were I didn't realize how um, that support how how much easier everything would be once I had that in place because once it was in place it's like things unfolded as though they were already destined to be just one after another after another after another and another thing that was really important that is exciting to me is that I I now know that what has happened to me in the last month was not a one-off kind of thing it's a, a system that I can repeat over and over and over again and um, that's makes a world of difference. It really does. Well, thank you so much, Roseanne, for sharing your brilliance with us today. We're all cheering you on and so excited to see your thank results. You. Thank Bye you. I'm excited. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye.